In today's video, we're going to be looking at the differences between the Bull Mastiff and the German Shepherd. Both of these spectacular breeds have loyal followings and a deep devotion to their families. Let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Fenray Bull Mastiff channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrayCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bull Mastiff and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Bull Mastiffs. So if you're a lifelong Bull Mastiff lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new Bull Mastiff, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Bull Mastiff video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a deeper look at the main differences between these two amazing breeds. Let's look at the history of each of these breeds a bit so we can see how their early jobs still affect their temperament today. Developed about 200 years ago in the mid 1800s, the Bull Mastiff is the result of crossing the English Mastiff and the now extinct Old English Bulldog. The original the original role of the breed was as an assistant to English gamekeepers in protecting large estates from poachers. They primarily did this by running off the poachers or by running down and pinning a too slow poacher until the gamekeepers could catch up. They are a large and powerful breed that still makes an impressive deterrent today, but has a mellow enough temperament to do well as part of the family. The German Shepherd Dog was bred and developed in Germany to protect farms and herds of sheep. They originally were not thought of as companions or brought into the house and stayed with the livestock all the time. That being said, they have excelled off the farm and into protection work for decades, since the railways negated a large part of their job. Now, let's get into their different appearances. Both breeds are solid muscle and have a boxy bill to go along with square heads and jaws, but the Bull Mastiff can be a heavy drooler thanks to their large jowls. Bull Mastiffs are part of the Mastiff family, as you can guess, and are quite imposing in their size and general facial expression. They have a short double coat that comes in a variety of colours and brindle variations are common among the breed. They can be graceful and light movers when they want to be, but generally have a slow, steady gait. Like most canines in the Massive family, which include the Great Dane and the Connor Corso, they're very jowly and you can expect plenty of drool around the house and on you. The German Shepherd, also considered a large sized canine, usually appears as focused and light on its feet, sporting a thick, fluffy coat that hides their sleek body. The Bull Massive is obviously a large breed of the Massive variety and thanks to their loose skin and low energy, don't appear as agile as the German Shepherd. Make no mistake, a Bull Mastiff with the proper motivation has a huge stride and can execute the most complex of agility manoeuvres as flawlessly as the German Shepherd. Their temperaments are both suited to family life, but for different reasons. The Bull Mastiff is loyal and protective of its family, but their low energy level means they're more of a cuddler than a player. They love to be with their family and keep an eye on them for as long as possible without moving from their favourite comfy spot. Their willingness to please is tempered by their energy, which can make them stubborn and willful when they're not in the mood to do anything. They're incredibly loyal to their family, even new babies, and take their role as a protector very seriously. And this instinct overrides their laziness when it comes to God in the family. The German Shepherd is highly intelligent and will make decisions for themselves without clear guidance from their leader. That being said, they are incredibly willing to please, but can be bored easily and become stubborn if not given the proper mental stimulation. The German Shepherd is very eager to please and intelligent, but will not become stubborn or willful or out of boredom so much as they will if they don't see you as their calm, consistent canine leader. Both are wonderful family dogs, though their temperaments and motivations are very different. German Shepherds are well known for the police and military work they've done in both protection and scent detection, as well as being service dogs to those with disabilities. The German Shepherd is also good with children once they've matured and have a good sense of when they need to be gentle. The German Shepherd is very protective and known for its excellent guardian and protection instincts. The Bull Massive is a wonderful family dog and their guarding instincts are more of a watch than a guard dog, but they have all the power and dedication needed to defend their home physically. As far as being part of the family, Bull Massives are exceptionally gentle and affectionate canines with children. They're typically friendly with strangers whilst maintaining close bonds with everyone in their immediate family. This is another the breed that is velcro to their people and will follow you from room to room. Experienced canine leaders will find excellent guardians and family companions in both the German Shepherd and the Bull Mastiff. Those looking for a top-notch home guardian will love the Bull Mastiff if their frequent drooling isn't an issue. Families looking for an active canine partner, for agility or for running, will find the German Shepherd a playful and enthusiastic canine, always up for an adventure. Before bringing either breed into your home though, consider your level of leadership and the time you'll be able to devote to these loyal breeds. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe, we have two dedicated Bull Massive videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenray Bull Massive Show.